Today we're going to make some sorrel drink. I'm going to put a little twist in it and I'm going to add some pineapple. So this is sorrel pineapple drink. Season's greetings to all. So right now I'm peeling my ginger to put in the, in the sorrel. You can use the skin if you want, but I choose to peel it. Okay. So here's the ginger. I'm going to cut the ginger up. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm going to cut the ginger up. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Put that thumbs up. And share me out. I'm going to be making pineapple sorrel drink. You know, the same traditional sorrel drink we are accustomed to using in Jamaica. We call it sorrel. In Jamaica and the Caribbean, we call it sorrel. In different parts of the world, they call it hibiscus. Hibiscus leaf. Okay? So, I'm not in Jamaica where I get the fresh sorrel, so I have the one that's dried where I buy at my local Caribbean store. So, this is the one I'm doing. And I'm putting a twist to it by adding some pineapple. Tastes good. So this is a sorrel pineapple drink, okay? So I have the ginger, I just peel the ginger. You don't have to peel the ginger. It's up to you if you want to peel it, but I choose to peel it. I always peel my ginger. So now I'm gonna cut the ginger up, okay? I normally slice the ginger thin so it can absorb in the sorrel. Caesar's greetings to all. Okay, so I already have the pineapple. I peel the pineapple. You can use the pineapple skin too if you so desire, but I choose not to use the skin. But um, I thin um, slice the pineapple very thin. See that? Because we're not gonna blend the pineapple up like we're making a juice. So it's gonna be boiling in the sorrel just like the ginger. Okay, so this is the pineapple. But if you choose, you can use the pineapple skin. You can wash the skin properly. You can use the skin, but I don't use the skin.
So that's the ginger and the pineapple here. Okay, so now this is the sorrel. When you buy these sorrel at the store, chances are you're gonna find seeds and stuff like that in it. So you normally go through it before you thing, put it in the pot. So I normally go through it to make sure there's no seed in it. Cause they say the seed will make it a little bittery. So I always search to make sure there's no seed. See, I found a seed. So you know that's real sorry right <laughs> i found one seed there well even if it's not they put some they find some seed and put in it if it's not but yeah this look like the same sorry way customer getting in jamaica and you just put it dry and then when you're traveling with it you still have to get it dry anyway yeah, so it's just one seed I found. So I'm gonna wash it properly. When you're washing the sorrel, you're gonna see the water get red, but don't mind that because it's not like all the redness is gonna come out in that water. But you have to wash it. water change yeah so I normally do that and then I put put it in this and run the pipe Yes. 
you just join in me this is what it looks like okay all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i have some cloves here it's like about eight pieces of cloves so I put the cloves on it yes i have to get the style of a kick to it you know what i say? and then you put some cinnamon stick i'm just gonna put two pieces Thank you for stopping by. We're making sorrel pineapple drink. Okay. Just want it boil up and just turn it off. So for the drink, we gotta put this bad boy in there. If you don't choose to put alcohol, you don't have to. But this one gonna have some alcohol in it, okay? You can use brown sugar or you can use white sugar. Whichever sugar you want to use. Guys, remember if you don't say something, I'm saying that you're there, but I, 
you know, say something, participate, so I know exactly who you are. Don't be outside the kitchen and peeping in the window. But you know what? It is so funny that somebody going to come on your live and put a thumbs down. Because what happened is, you, you cannot put a thumbs down if you did not subscribe to the person. So why would someone come on my live, put a thumbs down? You, can, you don't have to um, subscribe to my channel. Don't come to my channel, subscribe, then you're going to put a thumbs down. It doesn't make no sense. You've been doing it and you've been doing it and you've been doing it. It doesn't make no sense to do that. Because someone that's not subscribed to my channel cannot put a thumbs down. So why are you going to come on my channel and put a thumbs down? It doesn't make no sense. You're evil. Okay, guys. To my true supporters. So, yeah. So now the pot is boiling up. So I'm going to turn it off. Yes. So you turn it off. You don't want to boil too much to boil the nutrients out. So you just turn it off and leave it and let it set. And you leave it overnight. And let it set overnight. Okay? So this is the one that I have that's already prepared. See? So we're going to strain this and then we're going to make it. When you come here, put your thumbs up, not your thumbs down. I chew Rasta, man. Then I worry about that for you. But you know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> Bless up yourself. Yeah. Or is it a mistake that you don't know the thumbs up and you put the thumbs down? Well, if it's a mistake, correct it. You put the thumbs down. Please put that thumbs up then. Since as I'm going to call it a mistake. Yeah, so we strain it. But what I'm doing, I'm going to do two straining. So, you know, I run it to a, the big one and then the small one to make sure. Straining the sorrel. All right. So I'm going to make sure there is no particles in it, so I'm going to strain it again. it again but with the smallest strainer to make sure there's nothing in it okay all right so this is the sorrel pineapple sorrel ginger all right so we're gonna sweeten now you're gonna sweeten to your taste it depends on the amount of sugar you want in your sorrel just like how it depends on the amount of rum you want in your cereal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this. And I'm going to put some rum in the one I'm going to make. All right. So, so this is the amount I'm going to make now. So I'm just going to put... This a uh, half a cup of sugar. Yeah. 
You can use the sugar of your choice. If you choose to put rum, you can use the rum of your choice. Okay? So now I just put the sugar. Hi, Dominique. Welcome, Dominique. Welcome, welcome, my nephew. Welcome. All right, so this is the bad boy. We gotta put some of him in there. Mm. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna put a shot. So let me measure it. So me shot glass, yeah? But well, you can put the amount of your choice. Yes. So now we're going to stir it up. Guys, you see? Okay, let me get some ice now. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, guys, so here I have some ice, and now I'm going to pour my sorrel pineapple drink. Bless up. Season's greetings to you from my home to your home. Sorrel pineapple drink. Mmm. Me taste the rum in there. Yes. If you drink rum, put some rum in there. But if you can't drink rum, no better put no rum. Just sweeten it to your taste and you're good to go. And as I said, I peeled the pineapple and I did not use the skin. If you choose to use the pineapple skin, you're free to go ahead and do so. You can. And I didn't use the skin of the ginger either. You can use the skin of the ginger if you so desire. I just don't use it. Okay? So, have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous and Happy New Year. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Go make a sorrel drink. Me don't make for me. Thank you so much for tuning. Take care of yourself and loved ones. Guidance. God bless. Thank you.